everybody, Danny here over at Into Fly Fishing and today's video is a little bit different for us. We're actually going to do a how-to on small streams. So how do you fish small, tight, skinny water? I hope you get a lot from this. Make sure you provide any feedback that you think would make these future how-to videos better. But we really appreciate your support and we look forward to hearing your feedback. When fishing small streams, one of the most important things to pay attention to is your approach to the water. How fast are you walking? How loud are you being? Where are you walking? And what are you looking for? So whenever I approach a small stream, I pay attention to a couple things. One, I don't want to just run my way up to the edge of the stream and look around and see if I can see any fish. I want to walk slowly, make as little noise as possible, as little sudden movements as possible and just look and be okay with taking time just observing see if you see any fish rising or if you see any fish in the middle of the stream feeding and also just pick out your targets as you are along the edge and surveying okay there's a rock there in the center of the stream that I could maybe use as cover that opposite bank looks a little bit deeper so that's where I want to hit these are the things I'm thinking about as I approach a small stream. So what you're looking at here is the first spot that I want to fish on this small stream. Now as you can see it's barely moving water but it was some of the deeper water that I could find. While it's not ideal in the sense of it's extremely clear the water is a bit deeper so I do have that to my advantage. And as I begin to make my way into the water, you can see I'm just being as quiet and as careful as I can. I'm paying close attention to where I'm stepping, making sure I don't slip and make any sudden noises. Now, when you're fishing very slack water that is a bit deep, you wanna avoid any unnecessary mends, any unnecessary casts. You wanna just be as accurate as you can right away. And as you can see, my fly lays down softly, and I just let it do the work. I keep my rod tip high to make sure that the fly gets to the necessary depth, and my fly line isn't tugging downstream, and my fly is leading the charge. And you'll also notice that I didn't just yank my fly out of the water. I dragged it closer to me, pulled it out, made a quick mend, and then just shifting positions. That's another thing you're going to have to do, but you have to do it quietly. You see here, I get behind that cover because I want to hit that opposite bank. And I do, and I just hunker down behind it, strip in slowly. But again, the name of the game in slower moving water is lay down your fly softly and let it do the work. Try and keep as much of your line off the water as possible and let your fly lead the charge. next type of water I want to talk about is fishing below laydowns or as you can see here larger rock piles where it almost creates a little mini waterfall and there's some white water after it. These are prime locations where fish are going to hang out. Food comes rushing through those rocks and as you can see I'm sitting fairly close to this water. Now that was for a couple reasons. One. I just had a better angle at this point. There's quite a bit of foliage alongside of the stream, so I just didn't have a lot of room to work with. And another thing that you'll you'll see that I'm doing is just trying to do a little bit of roll cast. Just roll cast, get my nymph down into the water, and let that drift down through that white water past those rocks where those fish are hiding. Let's see if I can spook any of those into grabbing my fly. And don't pull your fly out too early. Let it let it sit and and see what you can come up with. Now just a little simple roll cast. My, f my line got the tree just a little bit, but no worries there. And as it drifts, you have the potential of getting snagged. So as you can see here, my nymph got snagged on the rock and I'm trying to not pull too hard there. I'm trying to just get my fly unhooked and then another simple roll cast there. Let it go, let it drift, let it drift. And gotta stay hidden, 
simple little cast like that and you should be good to go. The next thing I want to talk about is the tackle and gear I was using. I was using a little indicator and a prince nymph just seeing what the fish would hit and as far as gear that I was using was the Snowbee Classic 3-4 weight 7 foot rod with the Snowbee Spectre reel. Now I was really a fan of this setup with that delicate presentation line from Snowbee. It's, it's versatile, it's delicate and I found that it really managed the smaller streams quite well. So special shout out to Snowby for letting us use their Snowby Classic Inspector Reel as well as that delicate presentation line. So the last type of water I want to talk through today is that boulder heavy pocket water. This is some of the best type of water to fish on all types of streams, rivers. Any sort of big structure like this is going to lead to fish. Now this stream itself, the water wasn't rushing extremely hard around those rocks, but they were great points for these fish to sit. So I'm standing along the bank and I'm looking to hit those boulders right up along that opposite bank there and let my fly drift down below it and kind of get into that a little bit faster moving water now this is another spot where you have to have accurate casts you want your fly to get low get behind those rocks hit those areas where the fish like to sit and this takes quite a bit of trial and error because you're gonna find that there's a variety of rocks in here variety of areas you could throw your fly so don't try and cover all water at once pick a spot fish it a while and then work your way out boulders pocket water is a skill that a lot of anglers need to learn and need to get used to fishing because fish will sit there those faster moving parts of the water are what many anglers will skip over because they don't see that it's it's worth their time but you never know what size of fish could be sitting behind one of those boulders so give yourself a chance, spend some time working those rocks, working that faster moving water because you will be able to pull fish out from it. And you'll also hone your skills. You'll work your accuracy, you'll work your presentation of flies and it's some of the most fun water that you can fish. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this how to fish small streams video. Please again leave any feedback on what you think would be helpful in our future how-to videos. And make sure you head over to our YouTube page and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.